I'm going to talk you through some exercises to help relieve any neck and uh, back pain you might have. Uh, the reason I'm doing it is I personally have um, this issue where on the left side of my neck, or sometimes it's the right side, it just depends, after I've been sitting at a desk for a while or on a laptop, um, I get this kind of soreness and achiness all the way down, just down past the left side of my shoulder. And usually if I stop straight away and give it a few, few kind of shoulder rolls and a little few nods and a few exercises that I know, it's fine. But it can develop if I don't have the opportunity to do that or if I have to do a lot of work and I'm sure that you find the same thing. So I thought that these uh, three exercises might be helpful. Um, so here we go. So I've got two balls, but because it's only on one side, I'm just going to use one. But if you find both sides of the neck, then obviously you can use both at the same time for these exercises. So we start lying down and getting the ball in position is quite difficult. Um, well, not difficult, but it's worth while getting it right. <laughs> You'll see that I've got a t-shirt on because they do um, kind of mark the skin a little bit so it's a bit more comfortable, but obviously you can wear a vest or whatever you like. You don't want to wear anything too thick, otherwise you will uh, negate any of the benefits. So I want to start about here. So I'm actually going to lie down and just take it behind my shoulder blade and then roll up to the first area. So it's not comfortable, I'm gonna tell you that for nothing, and obviously I'm lopsided slightly. But I'm just gonna be doing my rib cage closure on this side, lifting up and down. So I have got my body in a neutral position, but what's most important with this kind of movement, when you're adding something like this underneath, is that um, you're free from tension in the rest of the body. You don't wanna be gripping everywhere else. And as you can see, I have to stop talking when it gets to the really juicy bit, let's call it. So about there, and then going beyond that point, really presses in to that area. So I'm gonna do five in this position. And then I'm going to roll down a little bit further so I get into that ooh, next position. So kind of by five, I was getting almost comfortable. I wouldn't like to, uh, to say that, but it was bearable. It's probably a better word. So just keeping going. It's probably a good idea to do it with both um, on both sides because I'm sure that whatever's happening on one side is a result of compensation on the other side or overuse of one side or non underuse of one side. So it's usually good to do things evenly, but it really is quite bad on this side right now. So I'm gonna keep persevering with this side. Okay, and the last little zone. So you can keep doing that five in each different area that's causing you pain and, and that's kind of nice and juicy here. So I would do five more there. Next exercise. It's really similar, but we're going to start with the arm out, then bend it into like a cactus position. You're going to put it across your body, so you're really massaging. So my elbows are down at the top, and I'm going to come back. So I'm in that higher position at the moment. This is more than bearable. Driving it across, and then coming back. So again, same thing, five. I mean, you're more than welcome to do more than five in every position. Just find these five is kind of manageable and it makes me actually come and do it because I think well it'll only take a few minutes. So I'm gonna roll back up. Oh yeah, that's the that's the zone. And do five more here. Ooh, that's it. So you'll get used to it, and if you get um, the right kind of softness of ball, the right kind of strength of ball, then they can be absolutely invaluable. Um, I do a workshop, did a workshop called Release and Restore, which I'm thinking about doing again and making it online. So yeah, again, you move around, sorry, just musing, moving around, finding the right spot and actually just moving around is really nice and coming up and down. Okay, so we're now going to come up, so I'm going to just change the camera angle so you can see. Okay, so really similar principle to what we were doing on the floor where we were moving our arm, we're now going to move our body. 
Um, I'm going to actually show you on my right shoulder so it's closer to the camera here. So same thing, I'm going to start low down and I'm going to lean against the wall. You can't see my feet, but I'm about my foot distance and a half away from the mm, wall. And that's just so that I can bend my knees, I'm not going into a squat position or anything. I will show the um, lower half of the body as well in a moment. So I'm just going up and down here. So I'm probably only getting to uh, halfway up my shoulder. So I probably put it a little bit low to begin with. So I'm going to come up a bit higher just for where my pain is. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's real pain. <laughs> so we're coming down and I'm kind of moving away from it, as you can see, to sort of trace the outline of your shoulder blades, your scapula. So, oh, just coming down getting right in there. I might even go a little bit higher with the ball. Hopefully you can see it. And just, oh yeah, that's the stuff. So I'm going down and up. I'm getting into this kind of more soft area. I'm gonna try and come up and down. This one's called bear scratching, always good. And there we go. So. Hopefully those three exercises are helpful. And like I said, um, looking into potentially doing um, an online release and restore workshop, probably, you know, November, December time, um, as we get into an even more stressful time. So pandemic plus Christmas.